Hey everybody, happy new years. I hope you guys had a good holiday. I went to Europe, Central Europe for like 11 days and damn, I got so fat. All they eat there are carbs, like bread, pasta, everything. But anyway, so the first unboxing of the year is the Doogie S90. Now, if you've watched my videos in the past few months, you know I've been pretty harsh on Doogie actually. Like I trashed the S80 because it was so repetitive and I just thought a little bit of false advertising. But the S90 is worth a look because this is a modular, rugged smartphone. And you guys know me, I'm always going to applaud phone brands for trying something different because otherwise the whole industry right now is so damn repetitive. Every phone kind of looks the same. Everybody kind of follows the same trend. So if you do something different, I'm going to applaud it even if it might not work. And we'll see if this works. So the packaging comes with a jigsaw press puzzle. I'm going to put it to the side first. This is really nice packaging too, so that's a win automatically. And then you have the phone right here. So the phone itself, it's nothing special because like I said, these smaller Chinese brands have pumped out so damn many rugged phones. Like I think in 2018, I tested like maybe six and then I was offered another like 10 to test and which I rejected. I was like, no, this is too damn many. So pretty sure the phone is pretty standard rugged phone, waterproof, shockproof, you know, pretty bulky, big battery. But what's interesting is uh, these little pogo pins right here to plug in the modular accessories. So let's see what this is. So I'm opening everything for the first time and I don't know that much about the phone other than the brief information I've read. So I believe this is a battery pack. So I think right here you see 5,000 milliamp hours. So I think this adds 5,000 milliamp hour immediately to the phone. So this is probably a wireless charger. Yeah, it's a wireless charger. And then you have a plug. This is the European plug that's also used in China. Is there anything under this? Oh, is that it? Oh wait, no, there's a little drawer. Wow, that's cool. This is like a, it's like a little jewelry box. Like you open up, there are like your diamonds and then right here's your Rolexes. Wow, okay, this is really awesome. So this, it's probably a walkie-talkie. Yep, you screw this on. Bruh, bruh. Sorry. And then you snap it over the back. Now you have a walkie-talkie. So I'm going to put all this to the test in the next couple of days. I probably won't cover it in this video because I have a lot, a lot of work to do. So I have no idea what this is. This is, it's a camera lens, but how does it work? So I think it's a lens add-on for the camera. That's really awesome. So everything snaps on pretty nicely. Pretty sturdy. And then you have here a USB-C to USB connector, a dongle because there is no headphone jack. And then you have here a USB-C cable. All right, I'm gonna power on the phone and just put everything to a quick test. All right guys, so I've set up the phone. I played with it for not too long. Like I said, this is gonna be very brief. I played with it for about half an hour. So we'll go over the specs really quick. You have a Helio P60 chipset inside. For some reason, Geekbench will not run. So I have been unable to get a score. This is a six inch IPS LCD panel with 1080p resolution. Um, the OS, so Dookie's advertising Android 9 on his website, but actually, that's not true, it is Android 8.1. So I don't know why it says 9, maybe that's an update that will come later. So there is supposedly, we'll, I'll check later, a 10,000 milliamp hour battery inside. But of course, you have this extra 5,000 milliamp hour battery pack here. So that means when you plug it in, you should be able to get 15,000 milliamp hour battery total. That's crazy, that should be will last you more than a week so you see right now as soon as i plugged in the battery pack it is charging oh and also the battery pack has a usb-c port so you can charge it directly from there there's also a power button to 
I guess so you can use this as a portable battery pack, as a standalone portable battery pack. But um, so yeah, the display is a notch display. It's a little bit weird. I kind of don't know why there needs to be a, a notch display on a regular phone, but hey, that's what they do. So, you know, it's fine. I played a little bit of games. I played Hero Hunters on it and the game ran okay. It was able to run on the high graphics setting, but not ultra. So you see that frame rate, it's not the smoothest, but it's playable. There's not a lot of noticeable stutter or lag, even though the frame rate, it's not super, super smooth. So in terms of selfie cameras, you have a 16 megapixel front facing camera. And on the back, you have a 12 megapixel main camera and apparently a five megapixel depth sensor. I would definitely put that to the test. Ooh, I like this little pattern of the camera module, but um, I've taken just a couple of test photos and it is what it is, you know, like these kind of entry level smartphones from smaller brands like Sen uh, like Doogie, Liegu, Okitel, they're all gonna have the same camera. So it's basically serviceable during the day. I don't expect this camera to be amazing or blow me away. But you know, as, as long as it works, right? Because you're not buying this phone to get like, to take portraits for magazine shoots or, you know, for like really high-end photography anyway. So this is a rugged phone. So it comes with all the usual kind of practical features that you might need, such as magnifier, compass, a sound meter, a height meter, barometer. All these are pretty useful. But of course, the star, the show, are these kind of modular plug-in right here. So this earlier, I thought it was a camera. No, I made a mistake. This is a night vision camera. Now I have not tried this yet. So let's try it for the first time together. So I plugged it in. Let's see, the accessory can cause significant errors in compass application connecting. Okay. So there is a app that comes with the phone. It's night vision right here. So I think now you are using this night vision camera. Let's actually put this to the test. Give me a second, I'm gonna turn off all the lights. Okay, so now I'm in my living room front door with all the lights off so you can see it's super, super dark. And I have here the Doogie S90. We'll, we'll use the camera first. So this is the main camera. As you can see, you can't quite see, you just can't, can't see anything. Now let's use the night vision camera. Okay, so you see, you're able to see the image. So there is a fisheye distortion effect because of the lens, but you are able to see the image. Right now, this is almost completely pitch black. Okay, so now I have on me the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. So we'll do a normal photo first. Okay, the Huawei image is probably still better than the night vision camera of the Doogie S90. But now if I shoot the iPhone XS Max, the iPhone should struggle really badly here. Yeah, you see, so this is the iPhone image. You can't see anything. Now compare this to the Doogie image iPhone tennis Max on the right, Doogie on the left. So the night vision camera does work, but it still can beat the Huawei Mate 20 Pro's night mode, nor can it beat the Google Pixel 3's night mode. Okay, so lights back on. So we know the night vision camera works. So considering what this phone is used for, you know, a rugged phone for you go camping, go on adventures, all that, this would be handy if you're like in the forest, in a jungle or in a cave and it gets pretty dark. Now, of course, it would be better if you have a Huawei Mate 20 Pro, but that phone costs like $1,000. And that phone is probably a little bit too fragile for you to take into a cave or into the jungle at night. Okay, so we know the portable battery pack works. Now we'll see if the wireless charging works. Apologies again for all the construction noise outside. Uh, that's, it's just Hong Kong. Okay, so it works. It's a little bit odd in that you have to put the phone a little bit more towards the top end. When you put it in the middle, it, it doesn't pick up. So you have to put it down here to register. So wireless charging does work. Now, finally, there's the um, walkie talkie modular accessory, but I'm unable to test it right now because I don't have another walkie talkie on me. And I think I have to download a walkie talkie app because there isn't one that come 
with the phone. So I will test this later on, like a few days later when I have more time, but I'm pretty sure this should work. This is the most basic functionality of all the other modular parts, considering that, you know, we've seen rugged phones with an antenna in it before to be able to use this walkie talkie. So you see there's a headphone jack here, I assume to plug in, you know, so you can use a headset or like maybe a mic. And then you have a button here that you press it to activate the walkie talkie function or when if you want you can use it to open apps like shortcuts so you can use one click double click or long press to launch you know launch a bunch of different applications or apps all right you know what we gotta do we gotta do a video speaker test so this phone's speakers are on the back so it's a little bit um weird placement because the sound is coming like basically going away from you we'll test it out right now so this is a 50 percent volume Okay, so sound only comes out from this speaker, nothing comes out here. So you can muffle it just like that. You can go up to max volume. Okay, so speaker is not too bad. I think at max volume, there's some serious distortion at max volume. But if you keep it at like 75%, this is pretty good. Surprisingly full. And you know, the speaker on the back, it's quite easily muffled. Oh, I think they're in Hong Kong right now. Yeah, this is Hong Kong. Wow. Okay. Anyway, so the speaker on the back, you can muffle it, but it's a bit harder to muffle than if it's on the bottom. And plus, again, this is a rugged phone. You're not buying this for the speaker anyway. You're buying this if you like to go camping and you just want a phone that you can... You don't have to worry about battery life, or if you drop many times and it's fine. YP68 water resistance, dust proof, and you know, it's pretty rugged. I might do a drop test on this in a couple of weeks after I test it out. It should be good to go. So, um, there's not a lot of information on this phone yet right now. I believe there's one more modular accessory, like a gamepad, but I didn't get to test that. But this box right here, the set that I unboxed, I've been told by Doogie they're selling it for $299 US dollars. That's the early bird price. So the price might go up later. $299 is the starting price, I'm assuming, on crowdfunding. There's like no information on this phone on the internet right now. But for that, you get this phone, this night vision camera, this uh, walkie talkie modular part, and this 5000 milliamp hour battery pack that when you snap it on, it bumps up the phone to basically a 15000 milliamp hour uh, battery phone. So it's quite bulky when you do this, but now this phone should last you like, like freaking 10 days, 11 days. So that's it for now. I will test this phone more thoroughly in the next coming days, probably next week. I'm really have a lot of stuff to do the next two days. So thanks for watching. Happy New Year's again. Apologies for the traffic noise. And um, yeah, if you like my content and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks.